the right to vote, the right to own property, the right to divorce, the right to take from a man, that is when it got destroyed. So that needs to be reversed. Now, in our current economic, social, legal paradigm, that's not going to happen. So for the time being, for the time visible, it's not going to happen. There is no solution because women won't give up their rights. They are whores and they have now seen what they get for selling themselves in a new way. They sell themselves to the government for their special privileges, right? And that selling, they are a victim. They claim to be a legal victim and are, and are, uh, <clears throat> and they are entitled to compensation for that victimhood. It's a form of reparations, right, that they want. They want to be repaid for their loss and their suffering, they claim. Men don't get that. So, uh, like when I said there's going to be sexual segregation, in the 1800s and back, women lived in female boarding houses. They lived in the inn, right, or the, the bar, the hotel, wherever they were at, they would live in closets and live in small rooms together, right? If they're prostitutes, they live in their room at the brothel and they pay a percentage of their, their hookering to the owner for that room and for the privilege of working in his brothel. That is what women were uh, like. That is how they lived. Men lived separately as well. Because women didn't want to give up pussy back then unless they got some money for it. They were very honest about it. And women got knocked up and they had babies and they had to raise them on their own. That, uh, like I want to look at today's rules. A woman says, it's my body, I'll do what I want. But she, the next phrase should be, it's my body, I'll do what I want, and I'm going to make you pay for it. That needs to stop. When a woman says, it's my body and my choice, then it is her responsibility as well. Because women are expensive. Because women are essentially failures when it comes to uh, individualism, supporting themselves. The government has taken it upon themselves with this victim class. Women are victims and they want reparations. And when there's no man to take it to, take it from, they go to the state and the state says, okay, well, you're definitely a victim, we'll take care of you. The state said, we can't afford all these worthless fucking women. And so they go back to fathers of children and say, you have to pay for this. So the state is coming to me, to men, and punishing us for what women do with their own bodies. That's right. Women do with their own bodies. It's their choice, as they so eloquently scream from the top of their lungs. Your body, your choice, your responsibility, your bill. But no, they want us to pay, so that needs to be fixed. You want, you know, what's the solution? Take away women's rights. Take them all away. They're not our equals. They're irresponsible, they're immoral, and they're perpetual victims. And they're incapable of taking care of themselves. Period. I don't even give a shit right now today about the exceptions to the rule. Because I see those exceptions as very few and very far between. And you don't make a rule on the exception. You acknowledge that exceptions exist, but you don't make a rule surrounding it and then make everyone else pay for it. What do we do with women? What do we do about women as MGTOW? We can't do a thing. They have rights now. They have courts and they have guns in the hands of police to enforce those rules. So as far as I'm concerned, let women languish, let them die, let them suffer, let them be alone. Fuck them. What do you guys think? What is the solution? I know you've all seen that question asked, well, what comes next? What do you do? Nothing. The species won't die because women will continue to be whores and have bastard children. There's no worry about the species dying. Men will still marry women and they'll still have children because they're idiots and they'll still lose everything they have even when they totally capitulate to women's desires women will still leave them just to steal their money you know I come on here and show my face and say these words 
people, it seems like, men are afraid to say the words. Women are whores. Women are irresponsible. Women are immoral. Women don't deserve rights. Beyond the right to suck oxygen and live, they don't deserve rights because all they have done from the moment they have got them is abuse them. They abuse other people with their rights. I don't say, well, I'm a man and I have rights and I'm going to take this whip and I'm going to go over and just beat a horse to death. Right? I'm going to run him into the ground and beat him into the death because it's my right. That's what women do to men. They beat them into the ground until they're dead. The answer, the solution is MGTOW. Go your own way. Stop giving to them. Stop feeding the parasites. And the solution is there is none until society collapses and the rules are rewritten and there is a real genuine acceptance of what women are. They are immoral and irresponsible and therefore need to be taken care of by a man. And in order for a man to do that, he needs to be assured that his property and his life are his to keep during and after any marriage to a woman. Answer, complete, done. Thanks guys, please click subscribe, thumbs up, all MGTOW videos. This one, my other videos, all channels, all videos, all the time, thumbs up. And of course I want to say thank you to everyone who's done fan funding. You guys have been great, uh, it's helping me pay some bills, um, you know, and uh, it shows me you appreciate my time, and I appreciate the time you put into watching and commenting. So please comment, give me your ideas on what comes next, what can we do? You know, did MGTOW go, well, I'm MGTOW, so I guess I can just do what I want? Nope, too many penalties for it. MGTOW is MGTOW. You have to go your own way. Right? Women have to be stopped and have their rights taken away from them, or we just don't have relationships with them. And even if you take those rights away and you have a woman, guess what? You're going to pay the emotional price for her. You're going to pay the emotional price. You're going to pay for her food, her shelter, her clothing. You're going to pay to protect her one way or another. Women are expensive and they're depreciating assets. That is, over time they are less valuable. Unless they improve their value by being a more responsible creature. And that is individually evolving. But when you give them rights, they believe they have value above and beyond what they are and what they're capable of giving you and then they take what is yours can't have that guys no more no more all right migtow is freedom out semper fi